So I know I haven't been uh, making too many videos lately, but I just want to show you what I'm up to. This is life of a van dweller. This is where I've been parked the last couple of days. I just came up to a to an event called CamperCon, put on by a YouTuber, popular YouTuber named uh, Just Incredible. So he puts this on every year, and this is this is a meetup I really like to go to because uh, there's you know 50, 60 vans and a bunch of people that come around, and it's just it's my favorite van life event. And there there's the man right there. This I, I I do CamperCon just so he comes. Right. I, I miss <laughs> this guy. He's awesome. I'm trying to make him Canadian. You're, Can I get your citizenship or what? I'll try. All yeah. right, sweet man. I'll work on it. Thanks. Thanks for this, Justin. I appreciate it. Well, this. thank you for coming. Yeah, That's my it. pleasure. There is no meetup if people don't come, so it's great to see you come again. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I never went. I'll never miss one if, if I can make it. So okay. yeah. if you can make it, oh, can look make at it. that disclaimer in there. <laughs> I will always message you ahead and say, "Is this date okay?" Okay. And then I'll do Capricorn. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No. I'm, now, I'm now important, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Keep on rocking the free world, buddy. You too. All right. One of the reasons I like coming out to Capricorn is I get to see friends. So here I got my my buddy Chuck. I got this one. Cheers. Life of Chuck. There's AJ back there. I was trying to remember. Then I'm, I'm making new friends here. He's he's hiding, but uh, this guy's a coffee nut, so I, I I don't mind him so much either. But that's what makes this thing great. And Justin just gave me a free T-shirt, so I'm scoring here, scoring big time. Free coffee beans. Seriously, how is it living in a schoolie? Seriously? Seriously, do you um, like it? Is it well, difficult? You know, is wait it? A second. You gotta put, if I win the lottery, I'd right. rather be on a 60, 70 foot catamaran. Like okay. there's better places to live <laughs> and there's better ways to live. Okay. But I'm retired, so I've got a particular income and I, I can either rent uh, like an apartment about this size or I can buy one on wheels. Right. Okay. And when I have one on wheels, I can go and put my home wherever I feel like. Right. Which means I can go away for a six month holiday for the price of gas. Yeah, cool. And okay. I can have perpetual yeah. summer on Pacific Coast beaches from California to Vancouver and that's my lifestyle. Yeah. Awesome. Right? <laughs> awesome. And there's no other way to explain it. It's a, it. Even if I could now, even if I could afford to do it, I realize if I could afford, uh, let's say I had mil a couple of million and I could buy the biggest, best motorhome and I could stay in those motorhome parks, uh -huh. that's really the only way in which my lifestyle would change is that I would be in motorhome parks with a whole bunch of 70 year olds that get up in the morning and drink a martini and then go and play golf <laughs> and complain about their golf game and complain about their wife. Then we all go back to the same old place, watch TV and then wake up tomorrow and have another in other words, all the people would be the same. We wouldn't learn anything. Sure. But when I'm driving around the bus, I have 17-year-old girls come around and talk to me for an hour because they think my bus is cool. Right. So I learn about the new, newer cultures, newer ideas, and all kinds of stuff. So I have friends of every age instead of all 70-year-old retired boys. I'm gonna have to bleep that out, but but no, yeah, you, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't mind bleep. <laughs> well, thanks. It's nice to see you, Gus. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. Hey, you too. Tell everybody to subscribe. Gus That's in right. the bus. That's right. Gus has got his own channel. It's Gus with a space in a bus. Gus in a bus. So the nice thing about coming to these things is I get to see old friends, and this is an old friend, Chuck. Old? You calling me old? Oh. Is that gray hair giving We've me been... away? <laughs> <laughs> good. I, this is my good friend, Chuck. So nice getting to hang out with you a little bit. We live close by, but, you know. It's my we neighbor got a border, today. Got a border between us, so yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. Today you're my neighbor, tomorrow not. Right, I'm parked oh, right. Yeah, right beside today. Right next door. And look at that view. Hell yeah. So it's almost 2 o'clock. 
CamperCon is over. I've had a lot of fun getting to talk to everybody, uh, old friends and making new friends. But now comes the hard part. I gotta hit the border. Um, it's not really so easy every time to get across the border. So, uh, not looking forward to it, but I think I put it off for too long, so time to go. It's also not too easy to leave a view like this. I don't know if you guys realize this, but uh, you normally can't camp in a place like this, uh, up here or in the States. So to get to camp by water and get to hang out with a bunch of cool people, this is not a normal uh, van life thing. Van life is, is not normally like this, and so I'm kind of uh, savoring every minute of it. So uh, anyway, stalled too long, better get going. Hopefully it'll be an easy border crossing, but you never know. You just never know. So I did something kind of silly. I started to say goodbye to everybody and started to leave, and then I proceeded to uh, talk to everybody for another hour before I left Spanish Banks. So, uh, it's now after 4 o'clock, and I'm just about at the border. I'm just north of the border, uh, Canadian-U.S. border, so I figured sometimes there's a wait at the border you never quite know, so I decided, um, you know, I need to stop and get a good quality cup of coffee. So, of course, I got a cup of Tim Hortons. So, <laughs> it, it's awfully funny to me about Tim Hortons coffee. It seems like a lot of people really like Tim Hortons and a lot of people really don't like Tim Hortons. And, you know, I said before that I liked it, uh, and that's true, I, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, it is actually drinkable coffee as far as I'm concerned. Is it a great cup of coffee? No, of course not. It's not a great cup of coffee. It's a cheap cup of coffee, but it's drinkable and, and sometimes like on a day like today, it's uh, I think it's about 80 degrees outside. I don't know what that is in Celsius. I should be saying it in Celsius because I'm I'm in Canada, but uh, but it's about 80 degrees outside. So if I fire up my stove here and start to make some coffee, it's going to heat up the van. And uh, if I decide I want to take a nap uh, on the couple ride, a uh, couple hour ride home, uh, it you know it, it's going to be be a bit uh, be a bit bit warm in here. So. Uh, and yeah, I realized I just said a couple hour ride home uh, back uh, to my work area. So back back near Seattle. Um, anyway, so I don't I don't really want to make it any warmer in here than it already is. It's actually a little cooler in the van than it is outside, but it is about 80 degrees outside. Uh, so it's you know it's close to 80 in, inside the van here. So um, on days like today, I. I really I just like to buy coffee so I don't warm up the van. That's my thing, uh, and I may have a little wait uh, to get across the border. You never really know. So, uh, so I bought a cup of Timmy's, and in fact, I bought um, I bought two cups of Timmy's. So there we go, two cups of Tim Hortons, and I'll put one in my reusable cup. I should have taken it in, but. Um, Anyway, I'll put one in my reusable cup here and uh, keep that one warm, and then I'll drink the other one. And hopefully, I'll fly through customs. Never really know uh, how that's going to go, but uh, I'm always a little bit anxious about that. Um, but anyway, got my passport ready, got my coffee ready, uh, should be ready to go. So um, here's for another two hours driving in the car. Uh, uh, I never like this part, especially after spending a nice day on the beach, hanging out with really cool people, and then you got to take a long drive. Not my favorite part, but a great weekend, a fantastic weekend, in fact, and uh, weather was great, people were great, made a bunch of new friends, so nothing to complain about, except I still am going to complain about driving across the border because customs is always tough. Anyway, I better get to it. And uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll keep you guys informed a little bit more. Um, you know, I don't make videos all the time uh, because this is my hobby. And sometimes I just have better things to do.
uh, in other words, meaning I'm lazy, and so sometimes I just don't don't want to do the work of making a video. So uh, <laughs> that's why you haven't seen me. Anyway, uh, I'm having fun. So this is summertime. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. And thanks again to Just Incredible for putting on such a great event and get getting us all together. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.